Put it down! Put it down! Drop it! Get on the ground! 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 All right, guys, right now we are set up down the street from Randy's house, or Randy's compound, rather. I guess everything out here in the middle of nowhere is technically a compound. So we're going to do a little knock and pop at his residence slash compound because he has a warrant for failure to appear. Got my partner, Zach, with me. Thanks for joining me today, Zach. And uh, we're going to go at it. This guy's got a minimalistic criminal history. This is a misdemeanor charge. Didn't show up to court as typical with people who live in compounds for whatever reason. They just do a crime, go back to the compound, and just don't leave. I don't think they like people very much. No. And they definitely don't like law enforcement. So respect is a big thing out here. We have to show him respect in order to get his respect. So hopefully we'll be able to coax him out easily, take him into custody without any problems. You ready? Always. Let's do it. We're going to go in two vehicles on this one, given the size of the area that we're in. So Zach's in the big black boom boom ram, and I am in the Tejo. Is that what you call this thing? Yep. God, this is really, really out in the middle of nowhere. Does that get a little uh, locked thingy up here? I'd call it a gate, but it's like a rope. Looks like we got a, some type of gate, like a cable or something. Let me cover it. I'm gonna cover it, Pat. Randy, this is the bail bonds company. We have a warrant for your arrest. Come out with your hands up and approach us slowly. God, there's so much stuff on this property. Randy, this is the bail bonds company. We have a warrant for your arrest. Come out with your hands up and approach us slowly. Randy, this is the bail bonds company. We have a warrant for your arrest. Come out with your hands up and approach us slowly. Hey partner, what channel are you on? Channel one. Come check me. Come check. Got gotcha. you. Randy, bail bonds, make yourself known. This is a radio turned on up here. Randy, bail bonds, make yourself known. They don't care about the women in his life, his wife and his two little girls, do they? Open door on the uh, structure I'm at right now. There's this structure and then another green house looking thing. I don't know which one's his main. I don't know which one's his house. Either this one or that one. Radio on here, open door. Hi, 
How did both my fucking flashlights die? This is a sham. You go first. Heavy odor of uh, marijuana. And we're clear back here. Pat? Yeah. Stove is still warm. Stove is warm? Yeah, you can feel the heat. All right. Did you lock your vehicle? You got the key yeah, out? Yeah, I got the key. Okay. Randy, we know you're home. Make yourself known. This will go a lot easier for you. Randy, make yourself known! So Bail bondsman, we have a warrant for your arrest! Cars and RVs and places for him to hide. I'm gonna go in. Like rat feces everywhere. Is it really? I think we can probably look through the windows first. There's nowhere anywhere to hide in here. There's like a, there's a rat cage back here. Watch this structure behind me. Yeah, I got it. You got it? Yeah, I got it. There's a door on this side of it. Check inside there yet? No, I was waiting for you. Locked. I, I can't, yeah, I can't really see to the top section up here though. That's the only problem. There's no window. It'd be hard to hide up there. Uh, yeah, I mean, if he's right here, yeah, if he's right there, we wouldn't be able to see him. Okay. So you can prop up and is the window open? On the other side. This window. Mm -hmm. Um, check. No. I mean, I could pop the screen if we really want to. Let's see if you can look up there. Oh, you really can't, huh? No, oh, you can. No, you see what I'm saying? You can only see to right here on both sides, so it leaves it leaves basically everything. If there was somebody from right here back, they would, we wouldn't be able to see him. Okay. Well, let's start searching around. Well, can you get in? I mean, if you want me to, yeah, I can probably. Uh, yeah. is, it, but is, is this window open? Hang on. Well, it doesn't matter if the window's open, not open. If the window's locked. Even behind it, you're not going to get through it. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, because I could pop the screen, but I don't know if it's locked behind. Before we start going and destroying this little house. Okay. Let's uh, search the grounds first. Okay. I thought that was like a little well. There's a lot of, there's a lot more structure up here. Yeah, there is. Unless he outright ditched us in the woods. In which case we're never gonna find him. Look like a, a little makeshift grave. Yeah, that's a little disturbing. Uh, 
I saw some movement. You want to search this one? Always gotta watch out for the banana peel. It could slip you up. Clear. One less. One less way to get out. Where's the trunk really? There it is. I'm not chopping. He was in the ignition. Zach, I'm going to move to this uh, RV fifth wheel towards the front of the property. Four. Right. Yeah. Ten four. Yeah, I got you. The uh, cars over here are clear. Did you do the red uh, F-150? Yes, I did. 250, sorry. So many cars. You get that, I'm gonna get these three cars on the uh, north side. I get one door locked from the outside, one door locked from the inside. Where's he going? Oh my god. He would be on the roof, wouldn't he? <laughs> Total maniac. These cars are clear. No, nobody home. Nobody maybe, home. Maybe he's in there. Check. He was in here. I'll buy you lunch. Nope. No. It. I mean, that's pretty much the end of the property. And there was no, uh, there was no CI confirmation on this one, right? No. But he could, he, he might just be out. Wait a few minutes for him to come back. I didn't really see anywhere else for him to. There was one. Uh, there was one trunk on one of those cars I couldn't get into, Pat. But I don't. You think he's sitting in a trunk? I doubt it. Which car? The uh, the green one back there. That was the only one I couldn't. Everyone else I made access to except for that one because the doors were locked. Do they all have closed trunks? Uh, all of them. This Did one you check was closed too. Uh, yeah, I checked. Uh... Did you check this one? Yeah, I checked this one. That's just a water well, so you can't be in there. You popped that, yes? I popped it earlier, yeah. Okay. But, you wanna check it again? Why would I check it again? You popped it. Did you, did you or did you not pop it? Yeah, I checked it. It was clear. 
And I put the keys on the visor. Okay. All right, well, um, I guess. Which car was it? The uh, the only one I didn't make access to was the, uh, was like the uh, sedan, the four-door sedan up here. Do you here. check in here? No. No, the trash pile, no. Gross. Yeah. Um, all right, so there's two places that we haven't got access to then. They'd be that and then up in that uh, tiny house. Okay. So let's just bang out this one first and then we'll hit the tiny house. Okay. But I bet he just saw us coming because he had that radio on and the and the stove. Yeah. He's been here within what, an hour at least. Yeah, the stove wasn't it wasn't super hot, but it was definitely warm. So either he's out hunting, in which case we can just wait for him to come back. Yeah, this one's good. The uh, red one's good. It's just this one. Oh, it doesn't have a see-through on it? No. Yeah, I can't... Uh... Doors are locked, windows are rolled up, and I... Was that open? I didn't notice. Let me see. Um, roll the tape back. Give me a who? Who was uh? Jared was it me? Let me roll. Let me roll his camera back. Hold on. I'm pretty sure that was. Hold on. That's that one. So that was before it. I didn't get it on here. No, no, no! Right there. Where? Go for a little bit. Right there, look. Yeah. Your trunk is open. Oh yeah. It was wide open on the move in, bro. Randy! We know you're inside this trunk. Pop it open. Oh, we'll pop it open for you and you're not gonna like how that goes. No sh Yeah. Good catch. Randy? Randy, why are you hiding in the trunk of a car, brother? I just want to smoke weed, man. Get out of here. Because what? He wants to smoke weed. Randy, weed's not illegal. Randy, can you pop the trunk open for me? Leave me alone in my trunk. Huh? Go. We're not going away. i got to talk to you about your bond. You could be stuck in here. Can you, are you stuck? I know you're not going anywhere, Randy, you're is in there... the trunk of a car. Are you, Ra are you stuck in there? Randy, listen, is there a child release lever inside? They usually glow. It's a little, little orange or green handle. Do you see it? No. no, there's no handle? Do you know where the key to this vehicle is, Randy? I don't know. Well, how, how do you plan on getting out, Randy? Give your, your baton. Yeah. Your baton that window. You got this? Trunk. Yeah. Randy, you need to come out, man. We're not going anywhere. And if, uh, is this your car or is this your neighbor's car? Randy? I don't want to talk. All right. Randy, we're going to come in that trunk. I'm going to hit it? So I need you to open up the trunk before we get you hurt. <laughs> you could be seriously injured or killed if we come in there after you. Here. I can't see him through that. I've tried. No, there's a panel in the way. Yeah. You can't see me. Okay, I'm gonna hit the front. Yeah. All right. Let's see if you can just pop the trunk. Yep. <clears throat> there's a damp trunk release. Right there it is. You ready? Yep. Let me see your hands! Randy, hands! Stop Both moving. your hands! Randy. Stop moving! Pat? Yeah? I'm gonna pop it. Jam this in, I'm gonna pry it up, right? Well... I'll do that, you handle it. Yeah, well hold on. I need hands. 
Huh? He's right here. Randy, Randy, let me see your hands. Come out of the car. Get out of the car. Mother Roll over. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, oh man, don't take me, man. Don't leave you me out here. Yeah. Shut up. Uh, where am I gonna get my weed in, in jail? Man. Are you addicted to weed? Can't get addicted me. to weed. Give me this other hand. Do not resist. Give me this other hand. Randy, do not resist. I got his left, Pat. I got his left. You work on his right. Dumbass. Anything on you that's gonna poke me, stick me, or stab me? Oh, Look man. that way. Anything on you that's gonna poke me, stick me, or stab uh -uh. me? Why are you hiding in the trunk of a car? I like my trunks. You been smoking today? Hell yeah. Did you see us coming up your driveway? I didn't see nothing, man. Did you know you have a warrant for your arrest? Huh? No. What are you talking about? You know exactly. You know, Randy. you know exactly what he's talking about. Yeah, you have a warrant for failure to appear to court. Yes. Another double knot uh, shoe tying guy. <laughs> Try to get the shit off. So I get... uh... Relax your foot. You have anything on you? Any any drugs or anything? Uh, no weapons? Uh -uh. Nothing. Hiding in a trunk. Did he actually have a way to get out of? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, through the back seat. Through here. You almost got away. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And what made, imagination? You made it about three feet. What movie did you almost get away? Hey, Jared, take a look at the back. I think he. I was worried about him getting stuck, but he's not getting stuck in there. Broke my f taser platform again. Seriously? What pieces of shit these things are? That's the second That's one. That's the second goddamn one broken the same goddamn place. Did it get caught on him when you went down? Yeah, he pulled on it. You gotta, uh, you gotta upgrade. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back to the just belt. Just go to the belt. Yeah. Yeah. It's Randy Thanks for that, Randy. Yeah. Fuck. Pat. To fix Give me it. it. Give me it. You let some anger? Yeah, this is for breaking my fing taser. <laughs> Asshole. Just fix it. Every fucking time. Damn. This is your own fault. Oh, what the hell are you guys That's for breaking my shit. Now I won't charge you for it. You don't have to pay for it anymore. Pay for it with your windows. I got a glass in my eye. You alright? Yeah, I'm good. Stand him up. You got it. Alright, kid up. Let's go. Why are you hiding in a f trunk? Not. Why don't you just show up to court and do what you're supposed to do? They won't have to come out here and f with you. Shit. Answer! I'm just trying to hang out here, get away no, from No, 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 not the bullshit. Why didn't you show up to court? You committed a crime. Oh, you got put on bond. We graciously bonded you so you didn't put up the full amount. Why are you f***ing our company over and being a little dickhead? It's all just a bad dream. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Walk. To your house. Car. F your car. What if I run then? Well, if you run, then you get tased or you get hurt because you're in cuffs. If you fall and we tackle you, you can be seriously injured. I would highly. Highly recommend against it. Plus, you pissed off my partner. And you don't want to try any shit when he's mad. Because out of all the suspects we've dealt with, he's definitely crazier than all of Why you combined. Why you with your cuff? What's wrong with it? You do. Leave it alone. Is it too tight? I told you, man. Don't f around. He's pissed today. Yes or no? It's pretty tight. It's awesome. Let me fix it for him. Which one? Right or left? It's the right side. He's fucking left. Keep your hand. Just like that. Turn your hand in, like that. There you go. How's that? Better? Oh, Drop yeah, the glove. Still too. in cuffs, though. 
Drop the yeah, gold. that's not going to change. Come on, Mr. Trunk. Randy Trunk. Why don't you just show up for your uh, for your hearing, man? Right here. I know. Put them up against the bar. Yeah, sure. Turn around. Where does glasses go? Fix my car. There, they were just oh, don't, don't move. Ah! You're just gonna step on them. Oh, they're right here. Cool. All right, turn around. Stand up against the push bumper. Turn around. Back to the push bumper. Anything on you that I missed? Not that I recall. You want the uh, shackle? No. No, I'd love to see you run, bro. Run, I'll just deck you. Okay, once again, I'm asking you this question again, and I want a common sense answer. You know what a common sense answer is? Ones that means it makes sense. None of this, I don't know, I don't recall, this cockamamie bullshit that you start pulling. Do you have anything on you that I missed? No. Do you have any needles on you? Any knives? Anything that's gonna poke me, stick me, or stab me? Nah, man. Turn around. I want to search him again? Yeah, that's fine. Spread your feet apart. You know how annoying it is? A little dickheads like you break my fing gear? Well, maybe if you. Now, for the rest of the day, what if I go get into an altercation later and I can't use my fing taser because you decided to run and pull some bullshit? Is there anything in this pocket? Uh, huh? Uh, What's in this pocket? Yes! What's in the Speak! Pocket? Don't go in the pocket. Let him yeah. get an answer. What's in the pocket? I want to know definitively yeah. what's in that pocket. What is that? Uh, what is this? If your life depended on it, what's in that fucking pocket? I can not remember what's in my pocket. Doesn't oh. feel sharp, but he's definitely got some. I'm about to cut his jeans open to get it. You feel that? It's just some paper, some bullshit. Okay. Is that weed? That little thing of weed? Probably is weed. Yeah, nobody cares if you have is a little thing of weed. weed? Bro, look that way. Damn. Why are you tripping, man? Chill. Don't look down there. Look to your left. Just a little bit of tissue. Get a penny. Ha, <laughs> penny. I love you, penny. Keep your stupid penny. Yeah, that's fine. Is that it? Where's your ID? Uh, it's in my car. What car? Green one. Walk to the green car and point out your ID. Mm. Over there near the driver's seat. You got him, Pat? Stay. Yeah. Uh, keys are? Yeah, I don't know. With the registration? Wallet. Yeah, there's a wallet and a knife. What do you do for work? Hemp farmer. You're a hemp farmer? Where's all the hemp? It's uh, drying. Where's the drying at? <laughs> hey, Randy. Where's the I'm usually at? pretty chill. You pissed off my partner. Now you're starting to piss me off. Where's your ID? Where the f is your ID? Because if you piss me off and Pat off, I, I don't know what to tell you. I can't help you from there. Pat, I got his AAA stuff with his name on it. Yeah, I need a picture ID. Yeah, it's... It's definitely his car, and I've I've got his uh, I got his reg, his member card. Do you have a driver's license? I don't think he, he probably doesn't. Do you have a driver's license? Mm. Yes or no? Can you drive a vehicle legally in the city? Um, I don't, that's why I hang out in my trunk, dude. Oh, I got that, another, I got another wallet. Is that an excuse or is that an is that an answer? Yes or no? Do you have a valid driver's license? Pat, I found it. Thank you. Valid. Huh? I think it's valid. Yeah, it's, he's, he's good. You give me one more sideways answer, bro. I'm going to knock you sideways. That one. 135, that's a lie. Why couldn't you just say that? <laughs> you want just the idea of the whole wallet, Pat? 
Huh? You want just the ID? Just the ID. You got. Why couldn't you just say that? Forgot to tend to forget things these days. Yeah. Forgot We're... I invited you guys over. For damn sure. Because you didn't invite me. Because you're a bitch. You ran. Randy, why don't you just come out? Why don't you just come out of the trunk? You heard us out there. Why don't you just come out peacefully? Why do you have to fight and try to run? I was enjoying myself. Enjoying yourself? I don't want to hear about what you do you on your free time like that. Don't lose your ID. Go back to my trunk. Are we even, or do I? Are you owe me some more windows. Yes. What? It'll be even. Okay, that's what I wanted to hear. Anybody else out here, Randy? Just you. Moment at the moment, just me. You have other people that come out here and stay with you. Time, time. All right. Have a seat in the back of my pickup. Where are you taking me now? Uh, you're gonna go down to the county jail, where you're gonna get rebooked and processed for your bench warrant. I'd put you in my Tahoe, but. I honestly think you can just ride back here. All right, guys, so uh, you saw how it went down. Randy is going to be going to jail for evasion and for his bond revocation for failure to appear. And uh, we're not going to want to rebond him, obviously, because we had to come out here. We had to hassle him out of a car. We had to search around, waste a bunch of time. He broke my vest. I broke his windows. We're even. So I'll get him off on the A and B charge. And uh, that'll be that. Remember. We catch a new fugitive like Randy almost every single day. I'm Patty Mayo. It's my partner, Zach. We'll see you on the next one. Say bye. Say goodbye. Bye. Guys, this video was sponsored by our friends at manscaped.com. And right now, you can get 20% off your first order by using code MAYO20. Just go to manscaped.com, pick out anything you want, Use code MAYO20, you'll get 20% off during checkout. Now let me show you some of my favorite items from Manscaped, the ones that I use on a regular basis. One of my favorite items is their travel grooming kit. Comes with a lot of different things. We get the heavy duty nail clipper, works on your nails, works on your toes. It's, it's pretty cool and it's heavy, when I say heavy duty, this thing is like a brick of steel, all right? They also include some little scissors in here for you, a little scrape to get the dirtiness from underneath your, uh, your nails. And you notice there's actually one or two things missing from here, probably in my bathroom at home. This is the Lawn Mower. It's a 4,000 RPM ergonomically designed trimmer. It's absolutely fantastic. It also comes with several sizes. So if you want to use it on your head, on your mustache, on your beard, on your nuts, whatever you want, it's fantastic. Doesn't catch, doesn't clip you. You're going to love it. I love it. If you like a closer shave, Manscaped has the Plow. It's a single chromoly bladed razor. Fantastic. It's heavy duty, heavy handled. Can put a single blade razor on either end. They also include single bladed razors for you when you buy them. The case has a little uh, mirror on there as well. Comes in pretty handy. I use a single bladed razor, been using it for years. It's a little hard to get used to at first, but it delivers a superior shave. I highly recommend learning how to use it. You're going to love it once you figure it out. If you're looking for a great moisturizer, Manscaped has the Crop Preserver. It's a pH balanced moisturizer, specifically designed for stinky areas, not to only moisturize them, but control any onion or garlic smells that you have coming from those areas. For a cleaner wiener, use Manscaped's Crop Cleanser. It's a hair and body wash, keeps you smelling like a man, because hey guys, we're men. We don't need shampoo, conditioner one, phase two, conditioner three. We don't need all that stuff. Your girlfriend has nine bottles. You need one right here is all you need. Keeps you smelling fresh all day long. And speaking of all day long, if uh, you know the middle of the day you're sweating a little bit and you got a date and you don't have time to go shower, you're going to want to use the Crop Reviver, a pH balanced spritzer. Middle of the day, you just need a little refreshment. That's all you need. Lastly from Manscaped, if you want a cologne that's not too overbearing, attracts the ladies, but doesn't make you smell like a 13-year-old boy who went to Walmart, picked up a 12-pack of Axe, you're going to want to use Manscaped's cologne. It's fantastic. It's called Refined. I use it almost daily. My girlfriend loves it. Your girlfriend will love it too. Those are my favorite products from Manscaped. Remember, you can get 20% off your first order by using code MAYO20. Just go to manscaped.com, pick out all the things you want, use code MAYO20, help support me. We love you. 
I appreciate you. I'm Patty Mayo. We'll see you on the next one.